man, this wind and this rain is a real mofo. Loud too, and not just the thunder. I mean, listen to that wind. This does not just feel like a typical, you know, like really bad sort of Chicago rain sort of thing. I mean, just the way it sounds and how it's acting and the way the wind is going. This, is, this feels more like, I don't know, a light typhoon or hurricane or something, even though that's technically impossible to form over land. Listen to the constant, virtually unending rumble. It's not typical of a Chicago storm to have an unending rumble. I mean, when it's lightning, there's always breaks in it, you know? It's not this unending frickin' rumble. I've lived in Chicago all my life and I can honestly say this is the first time I've ever experienced this unending loud rumble. It probably doesn't seem as loud in the camera as it does here in person, but it's as loud as thunder. Who knows, it might just be unending thunder, which um, in and of itself is strange because that just doesn't happen here, if it's supposed to happen at all. But it's this unending, loud, loud, thunderous rumble. And there's just no break in it. This loud ass, thunder loud rumble is just going like the Energizer Bunny. It's just on and on and on and on and on and on and on. With no stop. And that is very bizarre. I've never experienced this before. In all the storms I've experienced, there are pauses in the rumbling. There may be a lot of rumbling. It might be consistent. It might keep going for hours and hours, but damn it, there's pauses in it. And this is almost like one big loud thunderclap that just does not stop, that is accompanied by a symphony orchestra of other smaller thunderclaps. It's really freaking weird. Okay, well, in light of the typhoon that we just had in the Philippines that was definitely a harp storm, definitely artificially created with impossibly high winds, 
and of course the storm that they're fear pouring now that's going all throughout the Midwest. They have it on the news saying, oh, up to 78 million lives could be in peril. And they're really, really hyping the fuck out of it. This definitely seems like some, some heart bullshit. And of course they've been chemtrailing prior to this. They always do that. Anyway, y'all can believe what you want. I know there's some people out there who don't believe in harp, who don't believe in chemtrails. For me, there's nothing to believe in. For me, I've done enough research into it. I've seen enough evidence for my own liking, enough facts for my own liking, for me to be able to say, hey, you know, I've seen enough to see what I've seen. Plus, I've lived in Chicago for long enough to know the difference between a chemtrail and a contrail. And I've done an entire PSEC episode on that. Uh, I think it's something called Dave and Katerina Chemtrails 101 or something like that. Um, you can look into that if you want. But yeah, all I can say is this is some crazy weather. And the whole house is just like doing a light vibration shake here. It's Pretty nuts, and it's just not letting up. So this will be interesting. We'll see what happens. 